We're tracking some major breaking news in a CBS Sports HQ, and it comes from the world of college athletics, where NCAA President Mark Emmert will be stepping down from his position next year. Emmert will officially leave his role as president in June of 2023. He's been the president of the NCAA since 2010. And for more on the matter, we say hello to CBS Sports College football writer, big game Dennis Dodd. It's big news, Dennis Dodd. Here on Tuesday, Mark Emmert set to step down from his position atop the NCAA. Plenty of angles to approach right now. Let's start with the why. Was there any indication that this news was coming now? Uh, not really. It's not that big of a surprise. I guess for me, Joe, now we know what it takes to get rid of Mark Emmert. I mean, when he got <laughs> extended literally about a year ago, Jaws dropped all over the membership, mm -hmm. given what was going on with the incoming uh, NIL. And this after on Ju July 1st, when, you know, the NCAA basically became powerless in that space. Uh, but this was last April with the before the Supreme Court decision in Alston, which rendered the NCAA further uh, more powerless and helpless. Uh, and just over the years, people were wondering, why did he keep getting renewed and extended? And it was it was a board of governors that was sort of stocked with his toadies and followers and loyalists that he just kept getting renewed. But now we know what it took. Uh, we it took Alston. It took NIL and the inaction on that. It took, you know, not ensuring the tournament in 2020 for enough where the membership lost. What was it? Uh, 60 cents on the dollar at the time in the revenue that they got from from the tournament. And look, the NCAA president position is a bully pulpit, but it's a pretty powerful bully pulpit. Mm -hmm. You know, they bragged this whole time over the years. They've got all these, you know, lobbyists in Washington. Where did that get them with being able to control NIL um, and player empowerment and everything else? It didn't get them very far. And Mark Emmert said uh, the lasting memory, Joe, that we'll have of Mark Emmert going forward is what? Earlier this month, Kansas City Jayhawks. It came to the point where every time he opened his mouth, something embarrassing came out. In a press conference at the Final Four on the Thursday before, he said, well, we've only got one or two years to fix this. Well, what does that even mean? People were shaking their heads. Or what? What, Mark? That you're going to step down? I guess that's the answer to the question. So whoever gets this job, uh, it'll be more stable, the NCAA. I think the damage has been done now, where, as I've said on many occasions, the NCAA's lost stat, you know, lost power, lost statue, um, you know, lost its ability to function. I don't even know if there'll be an NCAA in the future if football breaks away. So none of that will change, but it'll be a little bit more stable. I mean, you pose interesting and thought-provoking questions here, Dennis. Uh, this 11-year tenure, there was plenty to be critical of. Uh, the BCS 11 years ago was our tournament. The tournament in basketball looked different. We've navigated a pandemic and oftentimes around every corner, there were struggles for the NCAA. And this notion of amateurism is again challenged here by the NIL. How much of the timing of this all makes sense to you? He is going to stand at his post for another year, step down in June of 2023. What does the timing tell you? Well, I suppose in the next year, they'll use that to get a search firm and, and get a new uh, president for the NCAA. But the timing is just what I mentioned. Everything has come to a head. The NCA has never been more powerless than it is right now. It basically throws a heck of a party every March. They're a great party planner for the tournament and the final four. That's what they do best. They do not do enforcement well. They don't do uh, revenue distribution well, even though most of that revenue comes from the tournament. Uh, football has taken its ball and gone away with the college football playoff. They basically run things. They don't do health and safety very well. They're being sued right now in an Oregon court um, for off-season conditioning used by Willie Taggart when he was at Oregon. At one school, they're suing him for $100 million. And who knows which way that's going to go. And I think all that piled up. I mean, I wrote my first Mark Emmert Must Go column. It must have been 10 years ago in the, in the Miami investigation with Nevin Shapiro, where they screwed that up. They had Miami dead to rights. They gave 72 players uh, amnesty in testifying for this uh, this booster, this Nevin Shapiro, who was handing out money left and right, and and they screwed up in, in procedure, and they had to fire one of the investigators. And so even so, when that happened, and if you recall, Miami didn't get much but a slap on the wrist. Uh, the North Carolina case, which was for anybody who follows college athletics, 18 years 
of academic fraud at a school. And then they went by an, an asterisk and a rule that said, well, everybody gets that mm -hmm. who took the class. No, that's not the point. The point was athletes were enabled. They didn't have to do classwork to stay eligible. And so all that's on his record. I mean, that people will ask, what did he do well? Uh, he didn't ruin the tournament. The tournament stayed on. I think that's about it. I mean, he let football get away from oversight. He let health and safety get away from oversight. And I think that'll be the ongoing legacy of Mark Emmert, that and the fact that the Board of Governors kept extending him with all this happening around them. Well, the faces and the places, they are a changing in college sports. But Dennis Dodd, he is our constant, always one call away. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.